Hi, everybody. Welcome to Math 108, Accelerated Intermediate Algebra this semester. My name is Mr. Chan, and I will be your instructor for this class. So thank you so much for watching this Math 108 Welcome to Syllabus videos. So in this video, I will show you how to do a basic navigation of your D2L um, course. And I will also go over the syllabus a little bit, and I will show you how to proceed in this class. And uh, at the very end, I will go over your very first assignment, which is called this, um, the homework syllabus. So basic navigation. So when you first click on our class, this is your announcement page. So every week there's announcement here, what we're um, discussing, what we will be talking about in this week. So to get to get to our to get to your course material, always click on content up top here. On the very left column, your table of content displays um, the topic that will be covered for every week. So everything is already here. So we will go over this course information right here in, um, just in a little bit. So if I just pick any week, like topic this week, topic eight through nine. So what student does is for every week, student will print or copy down the lecture handouts. So let me click on one. Student, the first thing students do every week is print or copy down the lecture handout. Whatever is on here, student will actually copy it down or they will print this handout. If you choose to print the lecture handout, click on download this Word document and print it from the Word document. Let me let me bring it over here. If you download it, all the formatting will be will be good to go. So once you download the the, the lecture handouts, then you can just print. So if you do not have a printer, then you will, if a student does not have a printer, then the student will actually copy everything down there on the handouts. So the lecture handout is empty. So the next thing you do, once you already print it or copy down the lecture handouts, you will use the lecture handouts to take notes while you watch the lecture video so what you see on the video is exactly what you see on the handout so let me just kind of fast forward a little bit so right here so whatever i wrote down in the on the video you will also write it down on your lecture handout that's how you actually take notes for this class so once you finish taking the notes, watching the lecture video, then you can work on your homework. Some topical homework has two portions, computer and handwritten portion. Some will just have computer portion. So whenever you, whenever you're working on a homework that has both portion, I will need you to print or copy down the handwritten portion first then open the computer portion next and do both portion back and forth you actually work on work on the two portion back and forth so here is the computer portion so question one two three is actually on the computer portion. Okay, question number four is on the handwritten portion. So when it's on the handwritten portion, then student will actually, you know, simply enter, um, you actually simply enter handwritten in the box. So you go back and forth between the two portion. Okay, some questions are on the computer portion, some questions on the handwritten portion. So once you complete this, this homework, okay, once you complete this homework, then I will actually, well, excuse me, then you actually submit the computer portion first, then upload the handwritten portion next into the Dropbox. Okay, let me show you. So topic number eight, let me go back to it, has both portion. So let's say you print the handwritten portion, then you open the computer portion and you do both portion back and forth at the same time. 
once you complete the computer portion, submit it. Okay, once you complete both portion at the same time, submit the computer portion, upload the handwritten portion into its Dropbox. Okay. And I will go over. Um, so basically, basically what student do to upload into the into the um, handwritten portion of the homework. So student will take pictures using a mobile device, take pictures of what you wrote and email yourself those pictures. Go to a computer, open those pictures and save the picture onto your desktop, onto your computer. So then you can actually upload it onto into the D2L. So if you click on the Dropbox, it simply asks you to add attachment. So you click on upload. So it's looking for different attachments, okay? That wherever you saved it at on your desktop. That's basically the idea of how to how students upload their handwritten portion of the homework. So once you finish the homework, okay, then there's also a Dropbox for the note that you took, okay? Then which notes you which notes that you took that need to be uploaded. The name of the the name of the Dropbox tells you which notes you need to turn in. So this week. This week, you actually take notes for topic A and 9, but I only need you to upload the notes that you took for topic 9 only. Okay, you don't have to do both, just turning one turning one every week. And, then, and which one you're turning, the, the name of the Dropbox tells you which one you're turning. So if you just, if I click on any other week, it's, you're going to see the same thing. All your lecture handout that you need to print or copy down, all the lecture videos that you watch and take notes on the handouts that you print it or copy it down and then complete the homework. So again, some homework has both computer and human and portion. Some homework only has computer portion, like topic 21, for example. So your handwritten assignment, there are two kinds of handwritten assignment. One of them is homework. The other one is note taken. Okay, it's not the same thing. Some homework has both portions, computer and handwritten portion. Okay, but note taken is a separate is a separate graded item. All right, let's first fast forward to the final exam, the very last week of the course. Um, be very careful. November thirtieth is the last day of the class. It's on a Thursday, so the the very last week is a short week. There is a exam that you need to take. It, again, it has both portion. Before you, before you attempt the exam, please watch the exam review before you attempt the final exam. Okay, so let's go over this course information. So the welcome, this same welcome and syllabus video is also located here. This is our syllabus. My contact information is listed in here. The number one way to contact, um, the number one way for me to contact you is using the D2L instant message. Okay. You can also email me from D2L as well. But when I email you back, you will have to go check your email. Um, you have you have to go to the um the office.com to check your email, to check your student ANTC email. All right. Um, this is here's my office phone number. Um, I also prefer a text message to my Google Voice number. If you need to meet with me, you can actually meet with me in Zoom. And here's the meeting code, okay? But when I communicate with, with you, my number one way is using the um, D2L instant message, okay? All right, here is our um, open education resource textbook. It's a free textbook. So in this class, you will not need to purchase any textbook for this class, okay? This is just a link. You can, act, uh, this is actually a PDF documents you can you can actually open it up you can download it and print it out how to upload handwritten assignments so what I described earlier where students take a, take pictures of what they wrote 
for the handwritten portion of the homework and for the note taken. They take a picture of them, email yourself those pictures, then go to a computer open, and then open that email, save the picture onto your computer, and then you can upload into the Dropbox. In a, um, at the end of the video, I will show you how to use graphical equation. So a lot of questions um, in this class where you have to enter the answers require you to use graphical equation. So here's just a quick video showing you how to find the graphical equation. How to view assignment feedback. So if you got a question wrong, I will actually provide a video feedback. Okay, this video show you how to find, okay, how to actually find that feedback. Um, toward the end of the semester, if you have a lot of homework, um, um, homework or note taken that you have not completed, this video show you um, where you need to go to find your missing assignment. How to use Zoom. This video, is for, especially for new students, okay, your student self-service and email, this video show you how, how you can actually log in to where you need to go to log into your student self-service and your email account, okay. Um, for emails, we go, um, we, student normally go to office.com or they actually download the Outlook app onto their mobile device. NetTutor is our online tutoring service. So if you do have questions about um, the homework you're working on or some of the things we discuss in this class and you cannot meet up with me, uh, you can always um, use a NetTutor and um, make an appointment okay, with this online tu tutorial service. All right, let's go over our syllabus real quick. All right, so this is an online class. My content information is also listed in D2L shell. Here's the course description what you will be learning in this class. I check everybody's prerequisites already. Required materials, we got to use um, our college-wide learning management system, which is called D2L. The textbook is an open education resource textbook, so it's already free. The, I, will, I just show you where the link links are. All right. In this class, you will need a graphing calculator. If not, uh, make sure you do have a scientific calculator. But after Math 108, student will either take Math 110 or Math 120. Those two classes will, um, is where a student got to have a graphing calculator. So start thinking about, um, you know, start thinking about the graphing calculator a little bit. Here's a course objective and learning outcomes. So course requirements. So basically for every week, student will print and copy down the lecture handouts, watch the lecture videos and take notes on the lecture handout. You just print it or copy it down. Complete both computer and handwritten portion of the homework. Okay, submit the computer portion of the homework first and then upload the handwritten portion of the homework. All right, number five, upload the selected topical lecture notes that you took into the Dropbox. So every week there is one. So you will not need to turn in a note that you took for week one and the last week of class. Okay, those two weeks, you don't have a notes that you need to take, you need to turn in. But rest in the rest of the semester, you know, every week there's one designated notes that you took. I want you to actually turn in to get a grades. All right, here are our graded um, our graded assignments, your homework notes that you took in the final exam, okay, will be graded. All right, a little bit more about that homework. I want to make sure I, I stress this, okay, because a lot of students, when the student run into the homework, the topical homework has both computer and handwritten portion, a lot of students is not doing that correctly, okay? So all the homework, as I showed you, are posted in D2L. The questions are on both computer and on um, paper, which is the handwritten portion, okay? Not every topic, but most of the topic of homework has both portion. If a topical homework has both computer and the handwritten portion, you are required first to print or copy down the handwritten portion and then open the computer portion next. Once the handwritten portion is printed, copied, and the computer portion is open, then you will go back and forth between the two portion to complete that homework. Okay, a lot of student complete, a lot of student complete the computer portion first, submit it, but then wait two weeks to turning the handwritten portion. Okay, but I cannot. But when I grade your computer portion, I'm also grading your handwritten portion at the same time. 
So if I don't, so when I grade your computer portion and I don't see a handwritten portion in the Dropbox, then I cannot complete the grading. Okay, so after completing both portions, you will first submit the computer portion and, and then upload the handwritten portion into the Dropbox. Both portion will be graded at the same time. If the handwritten portion is not uploaded after the computer portion is graded, then all the handwritten portion will have the, will, will have counted as incorrect. I actually count all those points as you know, all those questions on the handwritten portion as incorrect. So when I grade your homework, I grade both portion at the same time. Okay. The points you earn from for the handwritten portion will actually be entered within the computer portion. Okay. The grades of the handwritten portion will be entered within the computer portion. If the handwritten portion is uploaded after the computer portion is graded, the instructor will not go back and regrade the handwritten portion. Once I grade your homework, I'm done. And then I'm moving on to your next topical homework. All right. So make sure, you know, make sure you understand I grade your homework starting every Monday. So when I start your grade your homework, both portion need to be in place. You gotta have you submit your computer portion and upload your handwritten portion because I grade both of them at the same time. All the topical homework only has one attempt and it will be counted your as your weekly attendance, and I do not drop any homework grade. All right, topical notes. There are selected topical lecture notes each week for you to take while watching the lecture video. Okay, you are required to upload the notes into the correct Dropbox. And I'm gonna enforce this a little bit. All right, so for every page, okay, for every page the notes you took that you need to turn in, please write your name and the date you watch the lecture video in pen on the top right hand corner of every page you're gonna upload, okay? So if you don't write your name, okay, let's say you took a picture, you upload it. If you don't write your name, I'm not going to give you a full credit for the notes that you took. Wicked submission of the notes will be counted for your attendance. All right, so I show you where the final exam is. The, the final exam is, is posted for the last week of class. So please watch this 108 exam review before you attempt the final exam. And as I shown you earlier, final exam has both portions. So we will follow the same procedure as your homework on how to handle the handwritten and the computer portion. Here are our grading rubric, okay, for the handwritten and the computer portion. Your grading scale. All right, well, wiki outline is very similar to the table of content, okay? It, it show you what, what topic we will cover each week and what homework assignments that you will do for every week, okay? So please follow this as close as you can. And please try not to fall behind of this class because there will be a lot of stuff to catch up with, to catch up on. So as you can see, if I click on any, any topic, the homework and the notes taken, there is a start date, and there's a due date, okay? But if you miss the due date, let's say you missed 10 and 11 this week, you did the other ones, please make it up your assignment as soon as you can, okay? You got to make it up by the last day of the class, which is November 30th. You don't need to ask me to make up your homework assignment. You can automatically do it, okay? It's open for you to make it up. However, if you, if you are, if you have too many missing assignments, then you know, you're not follow the attendance policy. So here we go. Attendance policy for no shows. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna um do uh, I'm gonna go over this syllabus homework here in a little bit. If a student if the student does not complete the syllabus homework after the first week of class begins, he or she will be marked as a no show. Does not submit is a better word. Okay, no show means student, no show simply means student did not show up for class. Okay, so therefore you will have to be dropped on the class because you never showed up. If a student does submit the syllabus homework, then he or she will be bound by the, bound the following attendance requirements. Okay, students are encouraged to speak with the instructor for guidance in external circumstances arise. Please refer to the attendance requirements section in the catalog. So basically the attendance, the attendance um, requirement 
in the catalog is saying that students must attend 20%, okay, of the class. So if you so since we are using your homework, note taking for attendance, okay, you you need to stay within that 20% margin of the homework that, that you need to turn in. So let's say a student, let's say we are halfway through the semester and the student is already missing 40% of the total amount of work that needs to be turned in. Well, in that case, then the student can actually be dropped from the class due to excessive absence, okay? So please keep up with your homework every week you know, if you miss a note taken or a homework, a topical homework here and there each week, it's not as a big of a deal as student who just, you know, did not do a single, did not turn, did not submit a single homework for two, three weeks in a row. Okay. See, that's not going to, that, you know, that actually violate the attendance policy. So if a student go above 20%, missing, missing more than 20% of the, of the work, Okay, at any given time of the semester, then the instructor is, uh, the instructor has the right to drop the student from the class due to excessive absence. Okay, all right, please read up on the voluntary withdrawal from the course. Okay, student with disability, if, if you do have a document disability and require accommodation, please contact the Dean of Student Service. He or she will provide guidance regarding to official documents of disability and or accommodation of needs. Uh, here are our policy for academic dishonesty and honesties. For part, the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act basically protects um, all your um, all your all your education records. Okay, at the school, where um, your parents or anybody cannot actually asking about your grades, your attendance, you know, things like that. You know, uh, we are not allowed to give out those. Okay, so that so all your all your education rights and the privacies, okay, is actually being protected by this federal law. All right, so let's go over the syllabus homework, okay, because that determines whether you're gonna continue the course or not. So this under the welcome week, okay, I will go over the answers with you as well. So the syllabus homework is due August 21st, okay? If you don't turn in by, if you don't submit it by August 21st at 11.30 p.m., I'm assuming you're not interested in taking this class. After you complete the syllabus homework, there's a quick uh, introduction. You introduce yourself to the class, okay? So please write at least 100 words, introduce yourself to the class, and then respond to at least one classmate. All right, syllabus homework. Let's go over this. Question number one, consider the following question. It will be easier to write down the answer before entering inside the box below. So um, a lot of your homework questions throughout the semester has this instruction on there. So all that simply means write your answer on a piece of paper before you enter them in, in D2L. And you're gonna see a lot of these right here. Please use graphical equation when entering answers. So if it was asking you to use graphical equation, you got to use it, otherwise, um, you're not going to get full credits for your answer. So where is graphical equation? All right, click on this plus sign, click on equation, and click on graphical equation. All right, so number one, what is the best phone number to get in contact with you? What is your phone number? What is your best phone number to get in contact with you? And the reason why... Um, um, I ask student for the phone number, just in case, um, just in case if a student have not turning a greater assignment for two weeks in a row, you know, then I will actually or go above 20%. A lot of students who e very easily, go, you know, missing more than 20% of the homework or greater assignments, then I will actually text you, okay, for my Google text and just to see what's going on is make sure everything is okay. So tell me what is your best phone number? So one, so num so question number one has two parts. Every part, one line of answer, okay? For one answer, you actually use one graphical equation and press enter. 
So for the second answer, go back into the graphical equation for the second line. Okay. So if you so let's say a question has five different steps and you type in all five steps on the one graphical equation. What will happen is when you click after you click on insert, it's not gonna show up. So you don't you cannot even tell what you actually entered. So one line of answer, one graphical equation. Okay. Number two, the phone number you provided number one is the cell home or work number. Please let me know what type of number you are providing for me. All right, tell me which one is which, okay. All right, so the answer is saved. The check mark tell you the answer is saved. Okay, so you can actually exit out if you don't want to finish this and come back later on. Question number two, please write down the answers here. And this is how I know whether student watched the video or not. What's the best practice when using D2L? Okay. Number one, please use a computer or a laptop instead of a mobile device when you do your homework. Because mobile device is real narrow, real small, and it does not display graphical equation. Okay. Number two, please use Google Chrome. Google Chrome is most, you know, you know, work the best with D2L. Make sure your computer laptop has Word document because all the lecture handouts are in Word document. So um, right here, I wrote office.com because in the video where I show you how to, uh, how to sign into your self-service and your email, I mentioned something about, you know, you can actually download Word document Excel um, for free, okay? Every student can download Word document and Excel for free onto their computer, okay? If the computer does not have one. And please use graphical equation to enter answers when it's asking you to, please. Okay, these are the best practice. All right, question number three, what is the last day of the class? The last day of the class is Thursday. Make sure you understand this is a Thursday. November 30th. Okay, everything, uh, all your assignments cuts off on this particular date. So, you, so whatever, um, whatever you have not make up, whatever missing assignment you have not make up for, you, you will, you know, the course will officially end on Thursday, November thirtieth, two thousand twenty-three, at eleven thirty p.m. Okay. Can you email your instructor using personal email? The answer is no, because a lot of times your personal email come to my email as a spam. Question number five, some homework has both computer and heavy written portion. Which portion should the student open and download first? Always open and download the handwritten portion first. Question number six, some homework has both computer and heavy written portion. Both portion will be great at the same time. If the handwritten portion is not uploaded after the computer portion is graded, then all the handwritten portion will be counted as incorrect. Be counted as incorrect. Okay, please copy these answer down. Question number seven, who can student contact about withdrawing from a class, okay? Student can always contact the enrollment center, okay, by calling this phone number to withdraw from a class. Student can contact the student service directly using the same phone number, or you can contact your instructor. You know, you can contact me using your NETC email, D2 or instant message, or you can text me to my Google voice, you know, if you want to, if you want me to fill out the paperwork for you to withdraw from the class. Question number eight, what are the three types of graded assignments in this class? Homework, note taking, and our final exam. Question number nine, what is the last graded assignment you need to complete? The last assignment you need to complete is 108 final exam. So if you do message me or email me, okay, the instructor will reply your DTL instant message and or email within so how many hours? I will reply it within 36 hours, okay? All right, question number 11 is where I will show you how to actually use graphical equations. So a lot of these symbols you will actually run in, you, you will actually need to um, enter these symbols throughout the semester. 
So let's go ahead and get started, okay? Open and close parentheses. So I'm gonna go to plus sign, equation, graphical equation. I'm gonna drag this over, okay? So number one, open and close parentheses. So right now we're on the very first tab on the top left-hand corner. Open, close parentheses. Put the cursor on the outside of parentheses, comma, space. Open and close bracket is right here. The brace, open and close brace is this right here, curly brackets. Okay, so so this is actually, you know, this question, you, you actually have four answers, right? Typing four different things. So it's four separate lines. Don't type in number two with number one. Go ahead. Once you in, enter the answer for number one, insert and press enter, and then go back into the graphical equation for, for the answers of number two. Otherwise, you're not going to see what you entered. All right, open parentheses, close bracket. So using a computer means I'm also using a keyboard. So open parentheses, the shift nine space, close bracket, bracket is right above, a, a key right above enter. All right, infinity sign. Infinity sign is right here. So I'm still on the first tab. Union sign right here. All right. I'm click, I click on it and then enter. Number three, fraction and exponents. So let's enter this. So if it's a fraction, do not use a slash, okay? I do not count that as correct. There are fraction bar here in the graphical equation on the top three X squared. So three X exponent is right here, squared. All right, the cursor is on the exponent. So let's put the cursor down here, 4y exponent to the third. All right, this is number three. I'm gonna put a cursor right next to my fraction, comma, space, x plus one whole thing squared. So that's that's inside the open and close parentheses. So we'll start with that. Open and close parentheses, x plus one. Put a cursor on the outside of the parentheses, then your exponents. All right, number four. A lot of students forgot about number four. This symbol is called not equal to. <clears throat> number four, not equal to. All right, so go to the second tab on the top, on the top row. The first one on the top left hand corner, a box with a slash over it. And, and right now the cursor is inside of it. Now you use a keyboard, just use the equal button <clears throat> or you can come back here uh excuse me or you can use the equal button right here so that's not equal to comma space square root this is your square roots the this one down here is any root higher than a square seven all right i'm gonna click on the outside the square root comma space cube root so cube root of x to the second power. There you go. Okay, so you will enter a lot of these mathematical symbols throughout the semester. So um, if you ever forgot what the symbol are, um, where the symbol is, just make sure you ask me or come back, come by this part of the syllabus video and review it as well. All right. So if you do have any questions or concern about this class at any time of the semester, please don't hesitate to contact me using the using your email your d2l instant message or you can text me okay so we will keep in touch um as the semester goes along so um thank you so much for watching this welcome and service video